Steven Spielberg chimes in on the whole streaming wars and the uh, day and date thing and HBO Max and everything like that. Mind you, remember, there was like a whole article that, that came out that was talking about how David Zaslav was having lunch uh, on the, the on the lot. Steven Spielberg was there. Christopher Nolan walked up and there was like this whole thing. And people were talking about Steven Spielberg. Oh, my God. What if he gets him to direct Superman? And then again, I'm going, what happened to the Blackhawk movie? I'm like, what? What happened to that? Again, another movie that was like, oh, my God, he's going to be doing this very like off the off the cuff DC property that has to do with, you know, back in like what World War Two times or whatever the hell it was. And, you know, it's not about really super about a superhero. It's about this whole other team kind of thing. And, um, you know, uh, and it was going to be uh, directed by Steven Spielberg or he was going to be producing it or something like that. And that just kind of fell on the wayside. Like, whatever happened to that movie? And then, of course, then people were like, what if you directed Superman? That I mean, that would be insane if they got Steven Spielberg to direct, you know, a Superman movie. I just don't think that's in the cards. And, you know, the guy's the guy's pretty expensive. So I don't think that's going to be happening. But when it came to Steven Spielberg, he kind of chimed in. Oh, no. He chimed okay, in. Yeah. Oh, Let's my God, right these things. Um, he chimed in when it came to uh, the whole streaming platforms and everything like that. Here's a quote right here. He said, the pandemic created an opportunity for streaming platforms to raise their subscriptions to record-breaking levels and also throw some of my best filmmaker friends under the bus as their movies were on sir um, uh sir my, uh, i cannot say that word uh not given theatrical releases so basically just uh unceremoniously that's what the word is uh not given theatrical releases they were paid off and the films were suddenly relegated to in this case hbo max the case i'm talking about and then everything started to change. So he's basically going like, yeah, his filmmaker buddies, they got, hey, hey, they got paid off. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, we're going to put your movie on here. And of course, he's old school. And uh, he talks about this. He goes, I think older audiences uh, were relieved that they didn't have to step on sticky popcorn. But I really believe... Those same older audiences, once they got into the theater, the magic of being in a social situation with a bunch of strangers is a tonic. It's up to the movies to be good enough to get all the audiences to say that uh, to each other when the lights come back up. He also said right here about Elvis, I found it, I found it encouraging that Elvis broke $100 million at the domestic box office. A lot of older people went to see that film, and that gave me hope that people were starting to come back to the movies as the pandemic becomes an endemic. Uh, I think movies are going to come back. I really do. Well, they're already kind of coming back right there. It's just uh, when it comes to his movie, The Fablemans, I don't know if people are going to be you know, going out to see that, but it'll probably get nominated for all kinds of awards and stuff like that. He's always, uh, it wasn't last year, it was uh, West Side Story, right? He got nominated for all kinds of stuff. I didn't go see it. It, 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 didn't, it didn't do that well at the box office, but but yeah, so Steven Spielberg throwing a little shade at the whole thing. Uh, basically, you know, when it comes to filmmakers like him, Nolan and whatnot, you know, they weren't all about what happened when it came to the, the day and date that was, uh, as much as a lot of us were okay with it, like when we heard about it, we thought, cool. But, I mean, there are some filmmakers out there that thought, no. I mean, Patty Jenkins was not all about it, but then she ended up getting paid. Uh, you know, I remember there was a whole thing when it came to Scarlett Johansson with uh, Black Widow. Uh, of course, that handled. She got paid. I mean, there's a lot of things where, you know, just the way that they handled it. I th again, what I always say is the fact that the pandemic just kind of just forced, kind of forced all these studio, the studio's hands to be like, hey, streaming was always coming, but now you got to fucking, you know, you got to put it out there right now. So I don't know. Some people are, you know, a lot of people are embracing it in the biz, but of course, old school filmmakers like Steven Spielberg ain't gonna have it. So.